All right, so I'm about to tell you all that you need to know about Nexus Blitz. So stay tuned and enjoy. Hey guys, what is up? I'm back to my channel, and today I'm bringing you another League of Legends video. And like I said previously, this is a Nexus Blitz explained video. So there's a bunch to cover, so let's jump right into it. Nexus Blitz Project Slime is an experimental mode that ran from July 31st to September 11th of 2018. It started being playable for alpha testing on live servers on patch 8.16. On June 23rd, 2020, public beta patch of 10.14, Nexus Blitz was brought back on the PBE with new visual of the Ionian Spirit Blossom Forest known as the Temple of Lily and Lotus. The game mode is available from July 22nd to August 24th of 2020. Games on Nexus Blitz generally last 15 minutes and the last event at 18 minutes, making games no longer than 20 minutes or so. So now we are going to go into Champ Select. Before entering Champ Select, you can either choose to go into a lane or jungle. If you pick lane, you can freely choose your summoner spell, but you cannot pick smite. If you pick jungle, smite will automatically be picked for you and you cannot switch out from a different summer spell. Each player selects one champion to ban. Now I'll tell you about the aura. On this game mode, all champions gain 30% summer spell cooldown reduction, 4 mana regen per 5 seconds, 5.5 to 14 based on level bonus magic resist. And now here are the items as you will see. From the starting to the advance and to the finish. As you see, this game mode is known for bringing back old items that were once on the original 5v5 Summer's Rift. They are brought back in here with some changes, but mostly the same. Next up is the jungle. The jungle probably has the most changes out of all. Starting off with jungle camps have a respawn time of 60 seconds. Jungle camps taken with more than one champion grant 150% experience and gold split between the champions taking it compared to the 100% experience and gold it's taken alone. Wolf camp consists of one greater and four normal wolves. Raptor camps consist of one raptor and seven smaller ones. Two Grom camps can be found on both sides of the arena and opposite sides of the lane. Red buff and blue buff are located centrally and are much stronger. Taking a buff camp gives a supercharged version of the buff to the last hitter and leaves an additional buff, similar to Ivern's passive for other champions to take. They both spawn at 145. They grant 200 locally and 60 global gold to champions on the Slayer's team. Blue buff grants its usual effect, but initially increases the cooldown reduction cap to 50% of the duration of the buff. Rooftail is stronger, but on death, grants Hand of Baron and Eye of the Herald for 2 minutes to the team who takes it. Hand of Baron only strengthens minions and does not grant attack damage or ability power. It spawns at 10 minutes and respawns after 4 minutes. So now we'll be talking about the fire buff. So getting 4 kills without dying lights you on fire. The effects. Burns nearby enemies. Cooldown ticks twice as fast and grants 50 mana regen per 5 seconds. Or energy regen per 5 seconds. Increases the damage taken, including from turrets, by 25% for melee champs and 35% for ranged champs. Reduces income shields and healing by 25%. On fire persists through resurrection. So, Anivia alt, zillion alt, GA, and all that stuff. On fire has no maximum duration, but it's lost upon death and grants 800 gold to your killer and 200 gold to each other champion on the killer's team. So for the events and the prizes, I'll go in a separate video about that more in detail just so I keep this nice and compact. But the gist of the events are a random event happens every 3 minutes to 3 minutes and 30 seconds with an average of 2 to 3 events per game. The first event of the game is announced in Champ Select. The first event happens around 5 minutes. The next event is revealed 30 seconds before it starts. Winning an event grants the victors a random reward. Many events have additional bonuses on top of the rewards granted to the winners. Winning an event grants a one-time empowered recall, instant healing at the fountain, and a one-time boost of home guards. Gold sharing. All minions, regardless of last hit, and monsters kills share about 3% of the total gold value to every champion on the team. 
Blast hitters or nearby allies in the case of jungle camps still get the full goal and experience value. Goal from champion kills and assists are not globally shared. So now we're going to the cannon. The map features two catapults on each side of jungle at the beginning of the game. One near the jungle guardian, another below the bottom lane. These are accessible for both sides of the game. And the landing location is fixed for each catapult. So the last thing we'll be talking about are the structures and how those are in this mode. Turrets grant 25 gold to the last hitter and 50 gold globally. Turrets have 60 armor and magic resists. They also gain 70 bonus attack damage after 7 minutes and they have 15% armor penetration. The hour turret has 3300 health and the inhibitor turret has 4300 health. Inhib turrets have 50% damage reduction until both hour turrets have been destroyed. Inhibitors respawn after 3 minutes of being down. The Nexus can shoot nearby enemies and has 420 attack damage. Good one, Riot. 1.6 attack speed and 10,000 health. One armor, zero mag resist, and 160 moon speed even before sudden death. The Nexus Obelisk turret deals 420 raw damage every 0.5 seconds. So that has been a bunch of information. I hope this explains what the game is. Like I said, I'm going to do another part where I go more in depth into the rewards and the events. I'm also going to go into the changes. They did two champions to fit this mode. But anyways, that has been the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, peace.